Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. Quick video for you guys here. If you've been in a remodeling scenario and you just want to get the air conditioning to run, but you don't have your thermostat on the wall, this is going to show you how to operate your air conditioning or your furnace with no thermostat. Now, obviously, the things you have to keep in mind are that this will never shut off. It will just run continuous until, I don't know, until uh, you run out of fuel or the house burns down or something. Uh, but that's the one thing you have to keep in mind. So when you do this, uh, it's going to work, but it's not going to shut off automatically. Right now we have the air conditioning running, and I'm going to show you how I did that and explain to you what all these different wires are for on this particular thermostat. You can see we have the red and the green. This is going to turn on the fan. So let's go ahead and cross these guys right here. So there you hear the fan came on just fine. If we do it from the R to the W, then it will bring on the furnace. So we'll hear the combustion blower start. Hear that combustion blower start? So that means the furnace is beginning to start. I'm going to stop it. Now, in order to run the air conditioning, you actually have to cross the R to the G, like we did a second ago, and the R to the Y at the same time, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to cross the R to the Y, which is going to bring on the outside air conditioner, but the fan inside the house will not come on. So we'll go ahead and cross these. You guys hear that? The air conditioner came on right over there. Oh, in fact, this furnace sensed the Y signal, so not all furnaces can do this, but this furnace sensed the Y signal down at the furnace and it turned on the blower even though we don't have the R to the G connection. So that's kind of interesting. I'm guessing probably quite a few furnaces do that. But some furnaces do require that you cross the R to the Y and the R to the G at the same time. Common basically acts as the neutral uh, in this situation. So it's the return path to the frame of the furnace or to the other side of the transformer. So the common terminal is used to power thermostats. A lot of uh, smart thermostats require a common wire, so that's what that's for. Thermostats always cross the R to the Y and the R to the G at the same time during air conditioning mode. So I guess they just have designed this as a safety measure so that if for some reason they only get an R to the Y call, the furnace fan still comes on. So pretty interesting. So I'm just going to leave those crossed and essentially the air conditioner will run continuous even though I don't have a thermostat on the wall which is kind of slick. Isn't that interesting? It's actually pretty simple in the end how your thermostat works. It's just applying that 28 volts or 24 volts it technically is, uh, 24 volts to the different terminals to either energize the fan, the air conditioner unit outside, or the furnace down in the basement. Well, I guess wherever your furnace may be or your air handler. So if you have a heat pump or a different type of system with more wires, this likely won't work. This is for your basic conventional system, one heat, one cool, and that's it. So take that and keep that in mind. If your wires look different, you know, don't just willy nilly cross wires unless you actually know what you're looking at. All right, thanks so much for watching. If you found this to be helpful, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe right underneath this video. Would really appreciate it if you just hit that subscribe button. And then we will talk to you in one of these videos right over here. If you want to keep learning with me, I'll put a couple of videos on the screen for you. And we'll talk to you over there in just a few seconds. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you.